You know, when New York City puts out public service announcements about what to do in case of a radiological event, i.e. a nuclear bomb, things have gone too far. We have gone too far. Too far now. Putin is crazy. I mean, I, I've talked about it. I mean, the Russian Orthodox Church thinks he's some kind of, you know, savior. And they go up to the North Pole. Yes, the North Pole in Russia. And they have this baptismal uh, ritual with him and the water up there on New Year's Eve or something. I don't know what day it is. And so Putin, in his mind, he's the savior of the Slavic people. He's crazy. Crazy as hell. No doubt about it. But And he's dangerous. No doubt about it. But we have equally crazy people here running us. You know, look at your president. <laughs> and these people are, are fighting a proxy war against Russia. Now, Putin sees through this. He knows that we are fighting him. And we're using the Ukrainian people, the common people, the poor people of Ukraine. We're using them as cannon fodder just so we can, you know, get a gotcha on Putin. And so they're being slaughtered by the bucketful and the Russians are killing them, and the Russians are dying. Look, all this is just killing the little people. You know, the Russian people who are just like me and you, Ukrainian people like me and you, and eventually Putin's anger, or if he gets cornered, or if this escalates out of control, which it could, Putin is going to launch. I guarantee he'll launch. If he's cornered, if that cat and his oligarchs are cornered, they will launch. And they're going to kill the rich people the, the command and control people in this country, but they'll be safely in their bunkers living out their post-apocalyptic fantasies, and the rest of us are going to be dead. So we got to get a hold of these insane people and say, look, you're not fit for office, because you have got to get a peace talk going with Russia, the Ukraine, and NATO, and stop this insanity. I mean, we've all suffered from it at the gas pump. Well, that's, that's small potatoes compared if they start lobbing nuclear warheads. Because there won't be anything left. These people and, and uh, these think tanks have convinced themselves that somehow we can survive a nuclear bomb. You can't. If a nuclear bomb hits Indianapolis, millions will die. And the fallout will kill the rest of us. Now look, I'm an older person. I've lived the majority of my life. But for you younger people, you got to speak up. you got to tell them we're not going to accept this. I mean, this, we should be in the streets like they did in the Vietnam era, demanding peace talks immediately to stop this insanity so it does not escalate to nuclear war. And, and incidentally, putting all that money in the Ukraine is just getting more poor Ukrainian people killed in this insane proxy war against Putin. I told you Putin's crazy. All right, He is crazy. There's no question in my mind. But we have got to deal with this idiot and get him to a peace table and give him what he wants to a certain extent and stop this bloodshed. Because it's just getting the Ukrainians killed and incidentally it's getting innocent, in my mind, Russian, poor Russian conscripts that, they're dra that Putin drags in, they're getting killed. This is like the First World War all over again. It's, 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 the, it's a war where the poor, downtrodden, classes are pitted against each other Why these super elite rich play master chessmen on a board and get everyone killed. And now they're dragging me into it. And now I really don't want to be part of their insane plan. And I've been saying they've got to get to a peace talks. There has to be Paris, just like in the Vietnam era, Paris peace talks. And, but you don't hear that. You keep hearing we're going to keep shoveling money to the Ukraine. No one on any side of the aisle is demanding peace talks. Nobody. I'm demanding it. I say Paris peace talks now get the Ukrainians, the Russians, and NATO to a table and hammer this out and stop this bloodshed. Because this could escalate. And if Putin is cornered, I've warned this more than once, if Putin and his Russian crazies oligarchs are cornered, they will launch. They will launch. Do not think for a moment they won't. They will kill hundreds of millions of Americans, and then hundreds of millions of them will die. And then these insane elites will sit in their damn bunkers living out their post-apocalyptic fantasies. And believe me, there is no post-apocalyptic world. There will be no world for humanity after this. Somebody better wake the hell up. Call your congressman, tell everyone you know, Paris, peace talks now.